Hello my soccer universe to the 23-24 Bundesliga jersey review, yes way too late version so we're gonna do them all in one video in a rapid fire uh, way as I did for the Premier League just a week ago. And there is actually a slight benefit for doing it too late. Yes, you know already these jerseys very well, but that also means I know them very well. I've seen them. I have a much better feel having seen them in game. It also means that I can include all the specialty jerseys. And on the day of shooting, there are two specialty jerseys that have just been worn for the first time today. So they are also already included in the video. So at least some sort of benefit there. All the jerseys in here, I'm going to uh, rate on the scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, but I'm also ranking them. So I'm going from the worst jersey, in my opinion, to the best jersey, in my opinion, and I would love to know your opinion as well on how well you like my ranking and which uh, jerseys you would put higher or lower in this one. All the pictures in this video, I have either taken, most of them I've taken from Football Kit Archive and just from the, some newly released ones I went to um, Footy Headlines to get these pictures or sometimes to the official store, but most of them are from Football Kit Archive. Before we go in there, I actually want to show you one uh, a really interesting graphic right here. Uh, it's also from Football Kit Archive, showing the distribution of supplies in the Bundesliga. The Bundesliga is, unbelievably, and has been for a while, a Nike League but it's only four teams this time around, with three from Puma. Adidas has only two, as many as Homo. Also two Mizuno and two Yako teams, and then there are three Castore, Kraft, and Homa in there. So a uh, very interesting distribution as well. Okay, I would say we'll jump straight in. We don't have a worst jersey in here, so we're gonna go to two stars first, and the one that I like least is Union Berlin's uh, third jer jersey. I don't necessarily like the color combination together with the template if that would be very mixed but also the logo is a little bit off and I do not mind it's a full color logo uh, but it's too many colors and everything not quite gelling together. There have been bad, better ones. I also don't like the um, Oktoberfest jersey of Bayern Munich. I mean this should be in a, a botanical book and not on a football jersey. Oh yes, and I know the Oktoberfest, it's called Wiesen, which means meadow, and there are all these meadow flowers on there. It's just awful to, to be honest, and was worn in a thrilling game against Leverkusen. We had three stars, and here we have Freiburg. I think this home jersey, there is something about it, the shark design, but it's all, all over, overall, it's awful to be honest, so not a great jersey. Same thing has to be said for the Wolfsburg away jersey. I do not like this dark gray and this weird uh, lime green and you know the sponsor doesn't fit with the crest and then I don't know what this on the shoulder should be. Add to it an ugly template. Really don't like that one. Uh, and also the Stuttgart home jersey. I really would love to like Stuttgart jersey, especially with the season Stuttgart are having. Uh, but all these specs, I know this is supposed to surround the crest, uh, it just looks weird and I also think that the sponsor doesn't do Stuttgart any favor. I really liked it more with the Mercedes-Benz sponsor that I had here even last season. Going to four stars, the Freiburg third jersey. Yeah, Freiburg will not rate very high. It's just plain boring. It's not a good template. It's white, black. I really don't like that one. So uh, not a great jersey for me. Uh, same thing goes for the Heidenheim third jer jer jersey. It adds a little bit, but also, you know, with the sponsor, it just is a little bit all mismatched. Uh, if you were to ask me, I also don't like the Leverkusen third jersey. Honestly, uh, look at it. I mean, this is not a Leverkusen jersey. You don't even see the crest or, or whatever. Uh, at least it was some black and red, but no, nah, doesn't. Doesn't work for me. I don't per se dislike the Wolfsburg third jersey. I mean, orange is cool and I think it also fits well with the green, but um, it's just a template jersey smack on a crest in the club's colors and then a sponsor that doesn't even fit with that. That's why this is not rating high. Uh, the cup jersey for Dortmund. This was not one Bundesliga. We've seen it in the Champions League. Um, it's not a great one. I find the pattern. I know where this is coming it from. It just Dortmund. doesn't work. I mean, uh, kudos for the sponsor, but yeah, it's not doing it for me. 
Also the Darmstadt third jersey, again, it's not against orange, it's just, and the sponsor doesn't also fit in there. Um, kind of a meh jersey for sure. Uh, I also don't like the Bayern third, it's better than the, than the Oktoberfest jersey. Yeah, it also has the old style crest in there. Uh, I like the colors, but still doesn't do it for me. It's kind of a boring Bayern jer jersey. Bochum third falls in the same category as the Wolfsburg one. Um, I have to say though that the colors go better with, with each other, but it's kind of trying to ride this pink trend that I'm not really, really fond of. We're at five stars already and Darmstadt away jersey. See? It's club colors, it looks better. I just wish that the sponsor was also white and maybe that the center stripe would go all the way through. This would make this a much better jer uh, uh, jersey. Uh, the paintbrush effect, yeah. At least there's something there. Uh, the Hoffenheim uh, special jersey, uh, I think I bump it up because you know we love zero waste. That is a great message for these days. Uh, the template is not awful, however, and I understand why it's green there. It is just doesn't fit with the jersey. That's uh, why it's a little bit lower. New release, I'm worn today in a one nil loss to Stuttgart. Uh, Dortmund's 50th anniversary of the Westfalen Stadion. Has an Ajax looked at the I like that there is a graphic of the uh, Westfalen Stadium and I call it a Westfalen Stadium on purpose on there. However, the color and the design, it just does not look quite right. I think it would look better if like the body was black and then maybe yellow sleeves and yellow collar. And I said yellow pants. I think wool would have improved. I really love the old crest. Sponsor also not too bad on there. The Mainz third jersey, yeah, Mainz is uh, doubling and tripling down on the pattern that they're using. It's cool. Uh, I still, you know, white, white and gray. I think we could use maybe a little bit more color and I don't mean blue and uh, yellow with that one. Uh, the special jersey for Bayer Leverkusen, I, here I have been struggling. I love the Bayer crest on there. I also love that there's a map of Leverkusen and next to the Bayer circle you actually see the stadium. Below the crest there is a little, uh, the, there's a stadium right there. That is really, really cool. I just wish that this would have been done in black and red, you know, something a little bit more with the club to do and not necessarily this way. There's also a slight gradient, I don't know, Bayer colors, it's Bayer colors, yeah. That's why it's there, okay? Guess it makes sense. Still, it doesn't, it doesn't boost up. Uh, the Köln home jersey, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's just too plain. And that's not something wrong per se, because the Köln looks right in white with few red accents with the chevrons, okay, but... It's not outstanding either. The Heidenheim away, I do like the color green. There's something about it. Uh, it's just that the pattern is a little bit too wild for my liking, especially this triangle that goes through the crest. That's actually what bugs me a little bit more. Uh, the Leipzig special jersey, Leipzig fire, it's too much on, on my nose and the pattern doesn't look like fire. I mean, yes, the color combination is pleasing, but I find it a little bit... Uh, same thing goes for the Stuttgart away jersey. Uh, I wish that the band would stand out a little bit more. I don't know what this wavy pattern is supposed to be. It's not really wrong, but it's also not really exciting. I actually find, the, for instance, the Bochum uh, away jersey. There's just the serenity of all of it. Uh, it is simple, classy. I wouldn't expect much more from a Bochum jersey, although we'll see much better ones. For instance, the Leipzig away jersey. Um, hmm. I guess the Bochum jersey is too boring. This one is definitely not boring, but I find it a little bit too, uh, you know, <laughs> epilepsy inducing. Uh, the Union Berlin, this is one of three where I have two uh, versions. This one here is the classic away jersey in, uh, in white with the black Paramount logo. Today they have been wearing it with the Star Trek logo, which is also, also cool. But to me, I think the Paramount logo, Paramount Plus logo is actually quite pleasing. Um, it's just nothing really special. I actually have to give them credit for using a monochromatic crest, although for Union Berlin, I don't mind it on a white jersey to use full color. Mine's Croatia look with the pattern in there. I have the feeling we've seen that and then, you know, with the red sleeves and the color, there's just something knock knock right. I think the red color would have looked better on this one, especially if it goes through. So yeah, um, could be better, honestly. We're at six stars. And you know, the Stuttgart third jersey, 
Not so fond of the color combination, but I like that there's a stadium on there. Uh, but it's more a goalkeeping jersey than any, any, anything the else. Freiburg away jersey, yes, same template as we had for the home jersey. However, the black and the gray together work a little bit better. Uh, the Frankfurt third jersey, nothing wrong. It reminds me of last season's home jersey. It's not the last season had had, had a little bit more delicate color and also had the black Frankfurt. I like the red Frankfurt crest. That makes it actually quite nice looking. Uh, the Dortmund home jersey, uh, this has been a matter of discussion. I mean, uh, it will always have the stigma of being worn on the last match day of last season, where they didn't manage to win the title at home. It is, of course, inspired by the Westfalen Stadium, and that's why it probably was chosen, because they celebrate 50 years. We already saw the jersey. Um, the design is also based on, you know, if you go to the web, web page, it has always this angle in there. I've heard that this reminds some of the Titanic going down. I can see where this is coming from, but to me, this looks definitely more Westfalen Stadion. It just doesn't look like the greatest Dortmund jersey. Too much black, if you were to ask me. Move the whole thing a little bit down. We're on to something here, but uh, yeah, it's also not bad. The Heidenheim home, I mean, it's a template jersey, but I like how the squares open, open up, but it does something. I mean, Heidenheim has had, had very simple jerseys. This was not one of them. I actually think this is quite a pleasing one. Overall, the Werder third jersey, you know, with the two dark, dark green tones. And you see, I don't dislike green totally. I can't counter to the first two jerseys that we saw in this car countdown. It's just, I think it uh, doesn't look quite Werder either, but it looks Werder enough to be identifiable. Let's put it that way. And of course, with the crest. But we'll see better Werder jerseys. Uh, the Köln third jersey is actually, it's an off color for Köln, but I actually want that. I don't mind. I this light blue, that's in interesting. Also, the pattern's interesting, although I've seen this on an Adidas shirt, if you were to ask me. Augsburg away, uh, interesting stuff. For sure, uh, the green, green with a little bit gold. Um, yeah, I think Mizuno is doing a good job here. Uh, the Bayern home, home jersey is actually a pretty nice jersey. However, it's a perfect away jersey. This should not be worn at home. That's why it actually ranks quite low. Uh, we also have the Union Berlin. Yes, this ranks higher than the Bayern jersey because it does what the Union Berlin home jersey does. It has a pleasing sponsor, it has an interesting pattern, and it actually is a proper home jersey as, suppo as opposed to the Bayern jersey. The Leverkusen home, I really dislike the crest. This could use the full color crest, honestly. But I absolutely love that, you know, the Bayer has the Bayer cross. So for the first time I went with the cross design, I would probably like if the color would have instead of the gray, the black. I have to say it looks actually quite good in game, the black with the, the red. I just, as I said, full color, color, color crest. And this one goes through the roof for me. Darmstadt home, uh, it has some old school feel to it. The sponsor uh, mess, mess, messes up, but uh, it has two sponsors. I actually like it a little bit better with the one where they uh, were promoting bladder cancer. Uh, but you know, it's nothing bad. I like the old school feel in Dar Darmstadt usually has an old school feel to it. So I don't think it's a bad jer uh, a jersey, but it's nothing outstanding either. The Werder away uh, goes again with the lighter green, but looks quite nice. Uh, it would look better if it was used the same color as the Vela Crest. That's for sure. But other than that, it's not a bad jersey. Classic homo. Uh, Bayern's away jersey. Uh, I think it's the best Bayern jersey on, the, on, on this one. It's not Bayern colors, but I like that there's a world map on there. And I think the color combination makes it quite interesting. It's definitely a stand, standard jersey. I probably would like this more as a third than an away jersey. And, and then the carnival jersey for Köln. I was going back and forth, but it's interesting. There's something on it and it does exactly what the Carnival jersey did. It's uh, kind of outlandish there. Uh, is it as great as the one that I have? No, it's not. I love the ad, the, the, the ad on the pits, but I really like the cream colored stripe and then the red and the white. Yeah, it's carnival -y. I like it. I can see it as a Carnival u uniform. Going over to seven stars. Okay, now I think this uh, Leipzig jersey is quite good. I mean, I feel kind of a skiing look when I think of it as like skiing because, because there's some ice some ice flakes over, over there. But I think that especially the Red Bull logo um, contrasts very well with the light blue background. Uh, uh, I also think that the Augsburg third jersey uses the club's colors on the black background quite well in an interesting way. And this pattern has been used on the home jersey as well as we still have to see. The Köln away and has been worn at home now a few few times uses the classic Denmark 86 look but in a unicolored uh, tone similar to the third jersey they released for the previous Euros. Um, 
I think it's quite nice. It's definitely better than the whole home trailer. It has a little bit more interest. I also love, again, maps are the huge theme in Germany this time around. Uh, Dortmund have a, the map of the Borsigplatz, where they usually sell as a celebrate. That's the circle on, on the bottom on their jersey. I think looks quite well. Uh, a Bochum home jersey. Very interesting. I love the color combination and you know, diagonal striping. This is where Heidenheim could have gone, honestly. And also, I find the sponsor very, very pleasing. This is one of the better Bochum jerseys of the last few years. The Frankfurt home goes back to a template that was used in the late 90s with the slanted oh, black and red stripes and there's a little bit white thrown in for good measure. I love the red crest. I think it's a very interesting uh, design. Just the black shoulders kind of destroy it a teeny bit, if you were to ask me. Then we have the Augsburg home jersey. You see the, the, the uh, double stripe on the center, the same pattern that we saw on the third jersey, but I absolutely love the center stripe in the club's colors of red and green. And we also see it on, on the sleeves because maybe the color looks a little bit off. Uh, the green of the sponsor does not quite match the green of the jersey, but it's close enough. I think this is really, really well done. Uh, the Gladbach home home jersey. I love the color, though it's weirdly uh, padded down on the back. The only thing that really drops it is the sponsor. The orange is, if this is green, perfect. The orange, it looks uh, weird and just use the flat X, not the double line. Uh, the Wolfsburg home, it's a great color combination. The only thing is it should be worn with white pants and not with green pants. That's what destroys the look a little bit. But other than that, I think this is quite strong overall. Uh, the Hoffenheim away is similar to the Bochum away, but it elevates it because the color looks much better. And there's also a subtle pattern in there, makes it really good. Also fits nicely in with the sponsor, which is... Stuttgart fans might crucify me, but I really like this Stuttgart special jersey that was in collaboration with an artist who uses this kind of style. It's the best Stuttgart jersey this year. Yeah, not as good as this one, uh, but it's really cool. Uh, the black and white and the Stuttgart and then the golden accents. There's something about this that makes this really, really stand out to me. Uh, as does the Mainz Carnival jersey. Mainz always has these four color combinations, white, blue, uh, yellow and the red, but I like it in horizontal striping. Actually, it looks fun. It looks fun and the sponsor looks uh, nice in there as well. Best. Eight stars, we are going high. I love the Bochum anniversary jersey. Again, maps. Maps are a big theme this year in Germany. A map of Bochum. Um, the blue is maybe a tad too light this time around, but other than that, every, I, I everything like it. And this is really well done. Bochum has quite some nice jerseys this year. Uh, as does Hoffenheim. The swirly effect is <laughs> similar to Stuttgart, on the, on a, honestly, and those two teams don't really like each other. But yeah, uh, it fits nicely. I think, again, the color is nice, the swirly pattern is nice, uh, the color is nice. I really like that one, although Hoffenheim should probably also have a slightly more royal blue there. I love the cloud 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 back away. This goes back right to the mid 90s. If you were to ask me, uh, they had a similar green and black striped jer uh, jersey. Also note there's a heart pattern kind of in there. The sponsor this time unicolored again. One line would make make it better, but this one definitely gives me the feel. It's a, I think it's a great looking jersey. I also think of the Hoffheim third jer jersey. I love the color fade from the kind of orangey yellow to the uh, yellow yellow on top. It's like a little bit of a sunrise -y thing there. I, I, I love it. I also love, of course, <laughs> you see Ho Ho Hoffheim Clark, but black and white looks even better. Yeah, Lask fan. So black, black, black and white will always please me. Again, the heart shape, shape in there, but he also the sponsor in black. So it's a purely black and white jersey. Love it. Absolutely looks gorgeous, this, this one. Uh, Mainz Away, also a really nice one. Yes, it's the same Croatia pattern, but now in dark blue with some gold on there. Well done, pattern in there. This is how you do it. I nice stars. We're going really, really high. There's some really nice jerseys. I do like the Leipzig home. Yes, it's simple, but for a Red Bull jersey, this is outstanding. I absolutely love the uh, sleeves here. And I said this already in a champ Champions League George jersey review. It rates really, really, really high. I love the Werder home. We already said it uh, for the Köln um, away jer jersey, but here we go full Denmark 86. And yes, some will say this is yeah, regurgitated, but for Bremen, this works really, really, really well. We also have this in the Christmas version with a few more patches and in our Christmas tree logo. Uh, but this is a really great Werder jersey. I have, have to say green. Uh, I absolutely love this Frankfurt away jersey. Um, 
when I saw this one, this uh, should have been a home jersey. Honestly, I love that they use all the club's colors, especially the collar uh, and the cuffs, the way it is done, and then the red, red crest. I'm fine. I'm happy that Frank was really embracing the red crest. This one is beaten by the last regular jersey, and we have two anniversary jer uh, jerseys that even beat the, uh, out these, by the Leverkusen away jersey. Yes, it's a monochromatic crest, but this time it's white. And I absolutely love the sash and then the red and the black, but it's a kind of a different type of sash. The collar is great, uh, the sleeve cuffs are great. Castori can actually deliver great kits. This one's a great kit. Absolutely love this one, and I bump it up from where I rated in the Europa League jer jer jersey review. As I said, two anniversary jerseys are high. 225 year anniversary jerseys. We have the Werder one first. Uses the current crest on the proper spot and on, on, on the reverse. Not the Hummel logo, but the old Werder logo. The original Werder logo, which is then also plastered all over the shirt. And then the sponsor is very, very, very monochromatic on there. The only thing that I think uh, does not put this higher for me is that the sleeves and the collar is kind of too simple i think i would like a little bit more but it's a really 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 well done jer uh, jersey i think if the pattern was also on the sleeves uh, you know there was something a bit more i guess i would put this over 10 as i do my favorite jersey for this year and i've been but i cannot look away it's the frankfurt 125 year anniversary jer uh, jersey they have the freaking founding document of the club Printed on the on, 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 on the jersey. They have no sponsor. It says 125 years Eintracht since 1890. It's maybe a bit busy. There's also the current logo, but I absolutely love the old eagle there. I love the names that they have been using from the Eintracht Museum. Uh, that looks so old school. Yes, black and gold is a little bit tried and tested, but this is taking anniversary jersey uh, to a completely new level. If you were to ask me, um, it might be a marmite selection, but this one I absolutely adore. It's my favorite jersey from the Bundesliga this season. This was actually worn in, in, in the Bundesliga. I think this is also still available in the fan shop. So, um, you know, that might be a nice one to get. So that concludes our travel through the Bundesliga. Please let me know which jersey in here you liked and disliked. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon, so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!